Good evening guys and happy Wednesday to all of your sunshiny faces. So today I had another day of getting pretty much everything, sort of everything done that I wanted to get done. I ended up running a load of laundry. Um, I did guess I didn't get to dishes. It's weird. I've either been getting to one or the other. Normally I do them both in the same day, but for some reason I've either, like I said, if you have been doing the dishes or been doing the laundry, I haven't been doing both. Um, so anyways, though, so, um, I did wind up, um, getting a load of laundry done. Um, I don't want to wash though. The problem is I don't want to wash all of our, like the, I normally I separate everything into four, um, like reds, warms, darks, and lights. And I run all the warms just on the same. Um, but except for reds, I run those separately. But when Jack comes home from football with his football stuff, normally, um, he comes home with a mix of both lights and darks. So like his practice jersey is dark, his game pants are white, and then depending on if he had a home or away, he either has a white jersey or a dark blue jersey. So either way, I'm having to wash normally at least two loads. Um, so I didn't want to wash though all of the clothes that are dirty right now because I know that by Friday I'm going to have to wash all of his stuff anyway. So I'm like, I'm just going to wait until Friday anyway or you know like Saturday to wash his stuff with that because I don't want to wash it all. And then and him have no um like you know not have anything to wash it with and just be washing it all by itself because then that's dumb just to run a load for like just his like pants and like you know like a game shirt or something like that um so that's why like I said I'm I'm trying to hold off washing some of that stuff until um like Friday once he comes home with his his football stuff so, um, because that's, that's how it is right now. I've had to revolve the laundry around his football schedule and the stuff that he normally comes home with. So, um, anyways, like I said though, I washed warms today because that's stuff that he will not come home with. I don't have to wash anything in warm. So I just did a great big load of all that stuff today. Um, and then I also edited two vlogs today. I also uploaded the one that I edited yesterday. And I also finished my Meyer list today too. Um, so I guess that was good. Those were all the, all the checklist stuff that I got done. But then I was thinking about it too. I was like, I got a lot done. Like yesterday I got the bathroom cleaned and I also did dishes and I also also edited not as much as I wanted to because I'm trying to get to at least editing two vlogs so that I can get caught back up but I haven't haven't been getting to that yet um except for it's finally today then I did but that was I was like you know what? I probably could have yesterday it's just because I was cleaning the bathroom that I think I didn't end up getting to two yesterday um so either way Charlie's stretching on my bed hi bud so anyways um but for dinner tonight I didn't cook my mom cooked and she she ended up making which was super super tasty um the only thing I will say I think I think there's one little thing that she possibly maybe could have changed just a little bit um but she actually ended up making homemade tomato soup with fresh garden tomatoes um which was actually really really tasty so I think that she also ended up adding because she made chili on Saturday so she had some um normally when she makes chili she ends up adding like sort of like V8 but I think this was just a generic like um like Walmart brand of like uh like vegetable juice um so I think she added a little bit of that to it as well but then she actually had a recipe and she found out this from her like co-worker um I think maybe she's been giving my mom actually some pretty good tips and I think she's the same one that was doing the pickles um but she ended up giving my mom some good tips about like you know gardening things and stuff like that too and also like for saving um like tomatoes that you can just freeze the tomatoes whole and then just throw them into chili when you want to make um chili and then you just have tomatoes that are frozen that you know they're going to become squishy anyway so it's not like you need to worry about you know them being like nice firm tomatoes or anything like that for like cutting and putting on sandwiches or burgers or anything it's going into chili so it's cooking down anyway um so you can just add those but like you just freeze them and then you can just add them however you want and you have fresh tomatoes that you grew in your garden and you can have them practically all year round so we ha we have about three quart size freezer bags worth of tomatoes currently plus like I said my mom also made tomato soup tonight so you guys can tell how many tomato plants we planted because we got a ton um but it was super tasty I actually think that she added like 
maybe milk to it or something like that. It has sort of a creamy sort of taste to it also. Um, but then she ended up making grilled cheese sandwiches to go along with it. But she had a ton left over. So I don't know if she's going to freeze that as well. And then we can just do that like whenever we want to do grilled cheese sandwiches. The only thing I will say is that um, I think that she didn't end up peeling the tomatoes. Which isn't a huge make or break. Um... But I think because of that, there was like tomato skins in left in like the soup. Um, but there wasn't that many. So like, I kind of don't know if she ended up doing like that. Like, you know, there was just like parts of it that didn't get peeled or she just didn't peel at them at all. Um, but like, I was thinking about that too. Cause I was like, oh, like, you know, if we end up adding the tomatoes like straight to the chili, I was like, you probably want to remove the skin first or again, maybe do it afterwards. Like, but there's an easy way too to remove the skins on tomatoes, like especially when you're doing um, like tomato, uh, what's it called? Like tomato sauce, if you're making that from scratch. Um, there's lots of stuff, you can do tons of stuff. I've, my mom made tomato soup from, or not tomato soup, she's made tomato sauce from scratch once. I have never made it completely with fresh tomatoes. I have used canned tomatoes um, and then cooked it and actually made tomato sauce from canned tomatoes, but I've never actually made it from like homegrown or like store-bought, but fresh tomatoes. Um, so like I said, I'm... <laughs> Oh my goodness. I was looking at Charlie and he was making this insanely weird face and I was like, what's wrong with you? Like he looked really offended by what I was saying about fresh tomatoes. Then all of a sudden you guys heard he just let out a huge loud sneeze. Um, but he had this insanely like crazy looking face. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm making fun of you. <laughs> Anyways, guys, yeah, so, um, Charlie completely distracted me right now and his little, um, sneezing fit that he has going on over there. So, anyways, um, yeah, but dinner tonight was super, super good because, like I said, I don't know why it was just that tomato soup was, like, so, like I said, I think she was more, she did it almost like a chowder sort of or something like that but like I said it was like creamy like she definitely added milk to it I don't know the recipe though I was kind of looking over it before she um like when she was making it and um it's I don't know that it actually said to add like milk or anything like that to it I think so but the thing is too is that it was much more thin than like like Campbell's soup you know or anything like that and even to like I've had like that organic um tomato bisque soup from Aldi. That's probably my favorite tomato soup. I actually, apparently when I was little, I've been told that tomato soup was my favorite thing ever. Um, like when I was real little. And then when I like actually remember like being able to tell people I didn't like things, I remember saying a lot of times that I did not like tomato soup. The only reason that I ever ended up having it was because my grandma had these really, really cool little um, soup bowls. And they actually had a straw that went down to the bottom of the bowl but it was like attached to the bowl and you couldn't have chicken noodle soup through it because the noodles would get stuck in the straw so I could only have tomato soup through it so I remember like having that only because I wanted to drink out of the soup bowl with the straw but like I said I remember like telling her like I don't like tomato soup and I think she just thought I did because that was the way that the only like soup that I could have you know in that bowl um and so like I said I just I remember though telling her and then my mom also thought that I liked tomato soup and I was like I don't like tomato soup so but for some reason everybody like I said when I was growing up always thought that I liked tomato soup a lot and I was just like I don't think that I ever liked it I think I just again liked the bowl that I got to use at my grandma's house and that's why I liked tomato soup. Um, I would just have it so that I could, like I said, you know, drink it out of the bowl. But, um, again, I, I don't ever, like, I never have liked tomato soup. Even now, like, as an adult, I still don't like tomato soup. The only one, like I said, I'll tolerate is, like, that stuff from Aldi. Um, like I said, it's, like, the organic, um, like, I I forget what their their like label is um but it's the organic tomato bisque soup from Aldi that's probably my favorite and I will only eat it if I'm having um 
what's it called grilled cheese sandwiches so normally what i'll do is i actually use only half the can so i'll have it like one night and then i'll save the other half the can for the next night and then have another grilled cheese sandwich on the next night um and that's normally what i'll wind up doing like for dinner if i wind up getting those but but my mom's soup like i said it was a lot like she ended up doing that with uh the grilled cheese as well and but it was way different it didn't taste like I don't know like um like processed I guess that's the other thing too is that like it didn't taste like that so that's actually why I liked it I think more um like I don't like the tomato like or the Campbell's that much is because it's like super super thick and chunky and even when you add like again like you know an extra can of like milk or water whatever you add to it um like it still doesn't it's still sort of like not chunky but it's just very very thick and I don't really like that and that's why like I said the stuff from Aldi it tastes a little bit thin and it tastes like I don't know just better and like I said too I think maybe because again maybe my mom used the um like the juice like the vegetable juice too it didn't taste super super like tomatoey like the tomato soup I feel like from like Campbell's is more of like a, they use like paste tomatoes it's like a thick like kind of like I said my mom just used what we had in the garden which is a mixture of all kinds of different tomatoes so um like I said I think that she you know like the taste was very like light but it had like chunks of tomato in it which I actually really like too I love tomatoes I, I eat tomatoes honestly too when I was a little kid um I used to eat tomatoes like an apple I honestly love tomatoes and um like to this day still I'll eat the tomatoes um like you know like uh cherry tomatoes and grape tomatoes I will eat them like grapes um <laughs> I love tomatoes but again I don't don't like tomato soup um just because to me it just doesn't carry over like the taste and the texture and stuff like that it's just not the same but this tasted like an authentic like tomato and then was turned into a soup if that makes sense <laughs> like canned soup to me does not really taste like i don't know tomato like sort of like it does but it tastes very very processed even like i said the organic stuff from aldi it's like flavored too much too it doesn't just taste like tomato and like i said too my mom's i think was more of like a used cream in it too so it tasted like i said a little bit i don't know how to describe it it was just really good but then she said too that she changed it from the recipe so i'm never gonna know exactly what the recipe was <laughs> that she ended up using um and that's the thing that stinks too is when you kind of like punt in cooking and you kind of just like do things on the fly and you add your own ingredients and you know you don't measure anything out and stuff like that which is how I cook a lot of the time I get very mad because I cannot recreate the taste exactly the same because I didn't measure it or write it down when I made it um you know I'll just be like oh a dash of this a dash of that like my favorite thing is cumin and sometimes I can add the perfect amount and sometimes it's not enough and then I'm like should I add more should I not and then I'm like maybe it's like I need a little more salt to it like probably my favorite seasoning or is it a spice is i don't know spice i think it is i don't know cumin that's just my favorite um like that and garlic salt i don't like using regular salt but i like using garlic salt i actually am not a very like i don't actually to any of my stuff almost at all i don't add salt unless it's like specific to the recipe like i have to add it or also to like even like guacamole like you kind of have to add salt like there's certain things that have to have salt to it but if it's like just for flavoring like salt to me is just it's not flavoring I would rather add some kind of crazy seasoning <laughs> from the pantry or a spice or something like that and just like I said do like chili powder and cumin and you know something like that like, my favorite is anything sort of not super spicy but I like to have some spice in it like I said I'm not huge into like herbs though I don't love like I like adding basil sometimes and like I said you know maybe Italian seasoning and stuff like that but it's funny I actually don't I, like I love Italian food but at the same time too I feel like I don't love some Italian food seasonings and spices and stuff like that I feel like I actually really like like Mexican spices and seasonings way 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 more and that's what I tend to add the most to like you know when I'm cooking and that's what I kind of go crazy with <laughs> in the spices and seasonings department I also do like curry powder though when I do make curry um I do like adding I have a couple of ones that I got from Aldi that I use for that but that one's I kind of get scared of because 
because I feel like sometimes I could add too much and it can be completely overpowering then and like that one I'm a little scared of sometimes but like I said with like especially cumin I add like tablespoons of cumin to some of my dishes because I love it that much and normally I'm just cooking for myself at that point I never try and like do that to anybody else's meal but if I'm just cooking for myself and I'm like oh I'm gonna make like you know a black bean you know a bake something or other like cheese and you know all kinds of other stuff I add to it and like sort of like a almost like a burrito bowl sort of thing but I normally wind up baking it and I add like cumin and and chili powder to it and oh my gosh guys I don't know. I'm not, am I hungry right now? Why am I talking about food so much? Um, anyways, I'm gonna actually get to bed. I'm gonna go take a shower and get to bed. I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a gold thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love if you subscribe, and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So bye guys.